guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing Piggy Book 2, Chapter 4, Notes and One Secret, though. So let's just get to it. And this is Creecraft's video, so thank you, Creecraft. And I will be covering your face in this. So it says, so this is the first note, and this isn't the player. This is in my room and Georgie's room. Thor, Thor, you, you know, in the safe place, 30 Man 11's in Georgie's room. You know, I don't know, I'm not going to say anymore. <gasps> but... It says, Sir, the detective deserves a promotion. Nearly every investigation that they've been on has been solved. Doggy. If you're that, that was my annoying freaking dang sister. So now, um, so did the, so it's really kind that the player kept his note because it probably felt important to him. But this is probably how the player, you know, he got uh, promoted. But this might be important to the story at some point. But this is Creecraft's video, though. And away. And uh, away. And away. There we go. So this is in Z and Zuzi's room. And this is on uh, the counter. or I, I, I don't know what it's called, but it's by the, their window. And it says, November 2nd. Mimi starts schooling us again. It's so boring. I already know how to do to write, do maths, and I know everything about science. November third. I scared Drappy today with my awesome sword moves. He 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 he. He got so spooked. So yeah, that's kind of funny. But now let's just go over here, and this is Zuzi's notes, and it says November third. Fencing practice. Um, when this was Z Z's, this is Z's notes, and she's the one with the pipe in chapter five, though, and we have to give her grass. And then Zuzi is the one that with the like scarf, so yeah. So it says November third, fencing, fencing practice. Um, wait, 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 wait. So it says Fen November third, fencing practice was a blast as always. Zuzi managed to give Drafty a scare with her foil. She really loved that. She couldn't stop laughing all day. It makes me happy to see her smile. Mimi also has been talking about a radio, too. I wonder what that could be about. November 4th, some of us went to meet with another group. I overheard them talk about whether or not to go. I didn't feel right about it, and I agreed with Pony's argument. Zuzi didn't come back. I have to stay strong for Zuzi. So Zuzi had, probably has a strong connection with, with Zuzi, though. So I feel bad for them. Uh, here's Pony's. Uh oh. Uh uh. Ah. So here's another note. So it says, "I miss you, Mom and Dad. Every night, I feel the guilt of what I've done, but I'll make things right. I promise." So, so I Pony misses his mom and dad, and I'm gonna confirm who Pony's dad most likely is. Maybe most likely not. I'm not. I don't think it's his dad. But I'll tell you guys in my chapter 5 um, video of something for chapter 5. So he misses his mom and dad and he feels guilt of what he's done. So maybe he did infect Doggy and Foxy. Maybe Creek's prediction was correct. And by the way, this is Creek's video, so don't, you know. So he wants to make things right and he promises it. So, yeah, I feel bad. Uh but now, here is another note under Pony's bed, I think. And it says, Willow will pay. So Pony is really mad at Willow ever since it, it happened. But now, here's another one. And this is in Jirapi's room. And it says, we'll miss you, Counselor G. And this is during, like... Uh, so this is at the forest. So Jirapi was the counselor at the forest, which is actually cool. But now here's another one, and this is, it says this um, certificate um, certifies that Drappy has shown exceptional skills in environmental studies at the, bio the biology school of Lambridge. So he's like, like, uh, he so he learned about biology. So this confirms he's smart and other things like that. But here is another one. And it says, Mole Blindness, Fact or Fiction, Analyzed by Mimi. So this is by in Mimi's room. And it's kind of hard to see this, but I think it says, 
this is a common misconception that has been going around for far too long. I would like to first outline the fact that you, you, uh, yes, I, oh, of that yes i am a mole and no i am not blind with that being said there are some colors i cannot see and i cannot see well overall i hope someday to learn enough about um opt op op uh, i don't know how to say that to be able to create perfect eyewear for me in order to assist me um uh, and me in seeing better right now my nose is doing all the work. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So Mimi's blind, so maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe she can see through the eye with her glass. So that confirms that, I think, though. But so her nose is doing the work right now. But now let's just keep on going on. So this is a note where after you use the fire thing. So you know that car right next to that couch behind you, like right behind the exit in chapter four. So it, this is like code. It's, it's www9zieg. I'm not gonna say the whole thing though. But let's just keep on going though. And this is Pony actually says this. Uh, nobody knows how this person got it though. But, but. The person still got it though, and so and it says the insolent watches, huh? What did I just say? Um, a strange voice just came into my head, but I don't remember what it told me. So this is really weird, guys. This is really weird, guys. If you heard that, that's my annoying sister. So now, so now there's like something going on in Pony's head though, and wait, and. And yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video, guys. And remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!